The distance of averaged home runs differ from stadium to stadium. Air pressure is important because the elevation in a region can affect it. Hey there, welcome to WeatherWise. I'm meteorologist Brittany Beggs. Besides a rainout, the weather can play a tremendous role on how far a ball travels. Air pressure, humidity, and temperature can all factor in. Did you know there aren't two baseball stadiums that are alike? The infields are the same, but the outfields can vary much differently. In fact, the distance of averaged home runs differ from stadium to stadium. Air pressure is important because the elevation in a region can affect it. For example, a golf ball or baseball will travel differently in Denver, Colorado compared to St. Louis, Missouri. At higher elevations, air has a lower density. When this happens, the ball can travel further. The lower the density causes less friction. So when the air density is higher, let's say in a valley, more friction occurs so the ball can't travel as far. The wind can also play a role in baseball flight. Air flowing towards the ball will slow it down. This reduces its path. While the winds flowing with the baseball will help the flight last longer and in result travel a further distance. The temperature will affect the density too. Warmer air expands and in result is less dense. So in regions where the warmer air is, the ball will travel further. Humidity acts the same as temperature. The higher the dew point and in result humidity, the less dense the atmosphere is and the further that ball can travel. Humidity is a measure of the percentage of water vapor in the air. An increase in humidity has a surprising effect on air density. As humidity increases, air density decreases. Some people often think that a hot, muggy day will make the ball slow down. So you might think that a ball would go farther on a dry day than on a humid day. It's actually the opposite. So where's the best place to maximize your hit? Coors Stadium in Denver, Colorado is known as Hitter's Park, primarily due to the elevation. To make it fair, baseballs at Coors Stadium are placed in a humidor to add moisture before they are played during a game. They say they started this in 2002 because the balls kept flying out of the stadium. Petco Park in San Diego, California is known as Extreme Pitchers Park on the other hand. The fewest home runs are hit there every year. In 2005, adjustments were made in right field to make the park more hitter friendly. So in warmer conditions, it is more likely for a ball to travel further as opposed to cooler climates. The average home run in baseball in the United States is 398 feet. But what if there wasn't one of the forces, say gravity? The moon has zero gravity, so if a baseball were hit on the moon, the two forces, gravity and lift, would be negligible. The only force that would be responsible for distance would be how hard the ball was hit. In result, the ball could travel at much greater distances compared to Earth. Thank you for joining us today on WeatherWise at the Municipal Hagerstown Stadium. For additional weather stories and weather updates, you can log on to heraldmail.com or follow us on Twitter at HM Weather News. Until next time, stay weather wise.